My name's Ashley Allen, and with me today on Ness and Fit is owner and founder of B-Tone Fitness, Jody Merrill. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Jody, this place is awesome. Thank but you. Before today, I had never seen one of these machines. Most people haven't. What do you do here? Tell me about it. We do. We base everything around the Mega Former. We call everything the tone workouts here. Yep. So we have at each studio from ten. There's fourteen here on Newbury Street, and we just basically rip people into shape. 45 minutes at a time, everyone's on their own piece of equipment, so. And what are the benefits of doing a workout like this as opposed to running or, you know, kind of more high impact workouts? Yeah, I mean, and this is just something that's lacking in a lot of people's workouts. Mm -hmm. So it kind of puts in a little bit of everything. So it's low impact on the joints, which I think is the best part of the workout because mm -hmm. it is a really, as you guys saw, like a challenging, effective workout but it's not gonna be jarring. Like now I can't run as much because of my knees. Um, so you can do this. It's, it's accessible for people with really bad injuries to people who are professional athletes. So obviously I just watched the class. It seems like you need a lot of flexibility to be able to do this. Not at all. You just work within your range of motion. It's all about the slow count. So whether you go all the way down in a lunge or you go down a half an inch, as long as it's done at the same pace, you get the same effective um, piece of that, but you get more flexible from the workout. That's kind of the piece from the Pilates like background from this where every exercise you do, you do gain in the flexibility. So I read online, it says slow movement on your website, mm -hmm. quick results. Is yes. that really what yeah. happens here? Yeah, I mean, people feel it. A lot of people will say right after their first class, but typically if you kind of give it like two, three weeks of at least twice a week where your body's kind of getting used to it, I hear it all the time where people who just do it twice a week will say, this is like completely changing my body mm -hmm. um, and you do it really slowly. So I think when the people look at it, they think like, that doesn't look so hard. Um, but it is, when you go slow, it is much more challenging because it gets deeper into those muscle fibers that we're trying to work. Um, but when you, when you work like that, it just, it changes your body. And you were telling me earlier that, you know, a lot of people might come into this studio thinking, oh, you know, I'm just gonna have Kind of a fun, relaxed, oh, yeah. kind of stretching type of workout, but people here are sweating, yeah. they're shaking. There will be, sometimes I will have to like literally mop around a machine <laughs> after, um, where they are laying in their own puddle of sweat. For people who want to get into this, might want to try this, you know, people watching at home, where can they go to do this type of workout? Beton, we are um, where I started in Lexington, out in the suburbs, then came here. Um, and I have a co-partner, co-owner for Wellesley and Sudbury, so out, in the, out further in the burbs, and then we will be opening North End in December. Okay, so I have watched the class, I've mm -hmm. heard about it from you, I think it's time for you to show me I think a few so. moves in and I'm a little bit scared. I think so, it's all right, <laughs> we'll, I was, uh, we'll do baby steps. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, so Ashley, I'm gonna show you a few exercises on the mega corner so we can get you on it. So you're gonna squat down nice and low, that's tight. So you can even hold on to that handle. You got it. So you're just going to extend and push that right leg out. Get as far as you can and then bend and let it come back into that squat. Perfect. Oh, okay. So you feel it through the outside. Yeah. Because wow. you're going to like be stabilizing through this side. So you're going to feel it on the left side too. But it's that lateral movement that we almost never get in like traditional every almost exercises like a forward motion. Mm -hmm. And then most injuries happen when we're kind of cutting side to side. So this is a really good one. Good, shoulders stay right over the hands, perfect. You're just gonna float the legs out and using your left obliques to pull it back. You float up, hips drop down. Lift the hips up, look at that! <laughs> nice! You did it! You're doing it! What people tend to do is like, there are people who either make it work out harder on themselves or easier. Yeah. It's, it's better and safer to make it easier on yourself, but mm -hmm. some people make it harder. So most people will start to kind of move their shoulders back and they feel really insecure in this one. Oh, yeah. So it's perfect to just keep the shoulders forward. That's exactly what you want to do. All right, nice. We're going to enter that pulse. Pulse it up. Give me a little five. Good. Four. Reach a little higher. Three. Nice. Two. And you're done. Oh. Uh, <laughs> solid. All right. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> That was fun, but it was really hard. So yeah. if any of you guys want to try B Tone Fitness, I highly recommend it. You will definitely feel it by, by the end of the class. If you want, go to btonefitness.com or they have an introductory class. Yep, we have a great intro package. It's three classes for 30. That way people don't come in just one time and then have no idea what's going on. It is tough to kind of get the first class, so we want you to come back, try a row class, try a mega former class, and just kind of let it sink into your body. And you will fall in love with it. All right, thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for coming. Thanks.